Hi, how are you? It's Traps here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some nomads in Tanaris. And today, we are going to continue questing in Tanaris. Looks like there's some horde camping inside of Gadgetstan. So let's have a chat here with Senior Surveyor Fizzle Dowser. What's up? Got a position. Open for a temporary junior grade surveyor in the Gadgetstan Water Company if you're interested. With the Nomad seizing all our wells, we need to exploit more free resources of water. There is water to be had in the desert, but only to those smart enough to survey them first. Take this dowsing widget and tap a sample of the water by the pool near Sansoro Watch. It's right in sight of the trolls around here. Bring the tap widget back to me when you're done. <laughs> Glad I could help! Alright, so let's go do that. We will go get some water. Oh, we're gonna go survey the water first. I always wondered why, like, obviously Silithus makes more sense for, you know, the AQ-40 raid with Cthune inside. But I always thought Tenaris would be kind of cool to, put, to have it, like, in this area. But they do have uh, the Caverns of Time here, so... It's pretty damn good. That's a lot of dungeons and raids in Tenaris. There they are, the Sand Fury Hide Skinners. They're hanging out by the water. But we want to survey it. Let's see if we can get by all these guys. We have our survey tool on us. We also have these two axes I want to level today. At least get a couple of levels. Is that it? Alright, let's douse our water here. What the heck? The sent apart sent it the sent apart tunnelers. We're gonna die. These things are huge. Why are you guys so strong, dude? Just relax. I don't even think I can get this off, this healing wave. I'm not even gonna get it off. Get off of me. Why are these things so damn strong? Did we get our survey at least? Or do I have to kill these things? Oh, we did. Alright, well, maybe we weren't supposed to kill those things. Should we go back and try? I wonder if they're still going to be there. I think if I had my totems up, I would have had a, a chance. I'm surprised we didn't die there, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> they're hanging out there. Okay, so we get another chance. We'll have a drink. The thing is, we don't have a uh, gift of the Naru anymore. Which kind of sucks. Okay, get that down. Yeah. All right. Now we're ready. Two shots. Damn, yeah, that didn't even take. He didn't even take any damage. Okay, so we got a little bit of a head start there. Not sure if this is going to work. Got to try to get at least one down. Come on, big damage. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm going to die. Go. Okay, good. We got one down. We got away again with a sliver of health. You know, we pulled that off. Watch out for that. Watch out for that guy. Okay, we'll go back now. I'm gonna finish the last one off too, cause why not? Let's see what this drops. Nothing. 
All right, let's heal up. These things are pretty damn tough. Try to put down as many totems as we can. Can't get our shield, though. Now we can. Break now. And then we'll fight the final one. Surprised we got away with like a sliver of health twice. It's a good thing that these things are kind of slow. In comparison to Ghost Wolf. Ghost Wolf. There we go. We're just gonna get rock. Getting a lot of blurry procs here, a lot of wintry procs. All right, there we go. Slayed the bugs. Now let's get out of here, and we will head over back to Gadgetstan. We'll turn this quest in. And then I guess after that, we will head up to... We'll go to... Um... I can't really forget. Shimmering Flats. And we'll level our axes for a bit. I think that's a, a safer place to do it because everything's like level 30 there so we'll head over there and level up our axes let's put these axes on where do we can put that on pretty much the same let's put the agi one here it's got a little bit more crit they do the same damage Top end's the same as well. So it's actually less top end damage, but it does more damage per second. I guess because they're faster. The thing is, it's good to level up axes anyways, even though the upgrade is a little bit minor. Because just in case we like get some axes in the future, we won't have to level them up as much. I can jump over this. There we go. Talk to me! Welcome back, Junior Surveyor Squirrely Dilly. Have you completed your assignment yet? What's this? You were ambushed by some sort of bad mojo creepy crawly? Oh, this does not bode well for the Gadgetstan Water Company. No, indeed. I guess I should have told you about the reports coming in on some crazy bug ex creatures that appear to be sucking up all the water in the desert. At first, I thought it was just a croc. We have enough trouble with the snowbats as is. I thought it was just more of their shenanigans. Well, now we know at least. Noxious Lair Investigation. I don't even know if we want to even go there after that battle with those bugs. All right, now these egg reports about the bugs. What we know is that they are draining the water pools that used to be where the Noxious Lair is. What we don't know is, well, everything else. Let's figure out who our enemy is first. I want you to head to the Noxious Lair and get some parts off of those critters. Get five of the Centipar there and bring them to the Alchemist Pezzelzug for him to dink with. <laughs> with him on the case, we'll figure out what they are. All right. Right back! All right, so eventually we'll do that. I don't think we'll do that today because I want to try to get these axes up. Clearly, we need a little bit more damage. And a helmet would be nice, too, because we're getting beat up out there. So the goal today is just to at least get enough... Our level high enough so that we can at least fight level 40 mobs. So that would be close to, like, 200 skill. Right now, our one-handed axes are at eight, so we've got a long way to go. Good thing is, it shouldn't take that long. Like, we probably won't even do any damage to this little this thing over here. Yeah, we're not doing damage. Good thing is, we got totems, and we just swing, and we're gonna level up fast. Taxes look kind of cool, too. If I can get rid of, uh... Oh, oops. I'm swinging. Let's 
should be kind of a cool screenshot. You can go to interface, names. I don't think I could take away always show nameplates. No, it still shows. We're at 72. Not too bad. It's leveling up pretty quick. Cool news, though. There's some news for WoW. They're going to be releasing the last phase of Classic WoW TBC, Phase 5. And they're going to be releasing Sunwell Plateau in the Isle of Queldenas. Looking forward to that. Looks like we're starting to hit these guys now. So we'll heal up here a little bit. There we go. Get back to smacking. And yeah, Sunwell's going to be interesting. Six boss raid, which is not too bad. The current uh, raids we're doing is like. Over uh, the 12 bosses. It shouldn't take people that long to complete it. I think it won't be that hard of a raid. Some tough bosses, though, in Sunwell. There's Muru, and obviously killed Jaden. Never done the raid before. So I'm going to be interested in doing it. Probably have a couple videos on the channel of the Sunwell raid. And then that means the new PvP season is going to be coming out, too. That should be pretty damn good. And also the retail expansion is going to be announced on the 19th. Which should be a day away when this releases. Everyone thinks it's going to be the Empire of Dragons expansion due to the leaks that came out. But who knows? Who knows what it'll be? I kind of hope it's not the leak. Because if it is, then it won't be a surprise. So I'm interested to see what happens with it. It'd be cool if we got like a new class. You know, obviously there'll be a new race, I think. We haven't had a new class since Legion. It's a while. It's like over five years, no new classes. But the game already has 12, so. Alright, this last part here should take us a while to level up. I think getting to 200 should be the plan. And then we can head back to Tanaris. We're actually beating the crap out of these things now. Cool thing about having faster weapons, though, I think, is that we have a higher chance of getting Wind Furies and a higher chance of getting Flurry procs. So I think it is worth it. So now that we're hitting these guys, we'll, hit, we'll try to get up to like 170, maybe 180. And then from there, we'll head back to Tamaris and keep leveling up. Oh, we got a dot on us now. That kind of sucks.
finally got a flurry broadcast. about fighting these things, they don't do a lot of damage. There we go, 180. There we'll heal up again, we'll fight this guy. We had our maces at like 205, I believe. Oh, 229. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's going to be a pain to get. We're actually kind of far from where we need to be. We need to at least be at least 200 before we go to Tenaris. Good at this is fast. If this took a while, it would really suck. This will probably be the last item that we level up. We leveled up two handed axes, a little bit of two handed maces, and then maces and axes. So, yeah. This will probably be the last. Go. Tons of flurry procs there. We got two on us now. Still miss a lot though. Maybe 200 would be a better time to head over there. Let's keep fighting these bugs. I wonder if guilds are going to have any trouble with Sunwell. Like, I know it's only six bosses, so I, I assume not. Because everyone will probably just be raiding there, because the best gear is, in, is from those six bosses. Who knows? We'll have to see what happens. Supposedly, people believe that Kael'thas probably the hardest boss in the game. And that phase 2 probably will be still considered the hardest phase. Can't wait till they release this new expansion. 
retail. So we can know what it is. I think the Empire Dragons would be pretty cool, though. Especially if they came out with, like, a dragon-based class. Alright, so two more levels, guys. Got a King's Blood over here we should herb. Kind of bailed on herbing. We barely use her like the alchemy anyways. But it would help. Especially on uh, harder mobs like those two insects we fought earlier. Alright, so we should be at 200 soon. There we go. Alright, so there we go. We got 200, so let's hearth back to Tanaris. We'll get rid of these delicate insect wings. We'll probably get rid of these uh, maces too. We don't really need them anymore. We'll just see how we... Uh, how we're doing. Keep it real! these axes out in Tanaris. What would happen over here? Oh. Looks like Outlaw got taken down by the Gad Sand Bruisers. Alright, so let's see how we do against this hunter here. We're not missing. That's the main thing. in quite a bit here. Time between attacks increased by 25%. These are like the worst mobs to try to level up your, your hit. That wasn't too bad. Looks like we're good to go. It's a brutal debuff. All right, so we got our axes at 202. We have now officially replaced our maces. See, this guy's a shaman too. 32 shaman. Let's see what he's rocking. Just rocking a two-handed axe. 28.9 damage. The corpse maker. Two-handers are cool. You hit pretty hard with them. I enjoyed leveling with two handers. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be calling this episode here. Next episode, we will be continuing questing in Tanaris. And we'll probably try to get into some more dungeons soon. We still have not done Mardon or Sunken Temple, so we'll still try to do that. And we still actually have some quests to turn in in Zulfarak. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.